So back into the maintenance job then, what we need to do now is make sure that this job is then marked as complete. Once it's in progress, it has been completed. On the property record, we can assign the keys back in. Um, we loan them out to the contractor, we can assign them back in. So now on the progress status, we're going to mark this job as completed. We can set the actual completion date here as well. We're above the target completion date, so we've made sure that we've got this job done within our target range. On the quotes tab, once we've marked it as completed, any invoices that we receive in from the plumbers can go, or from the contractor, can go on the events tab, like any of the um, authorizations, any of the quotes that we actually originally entered in by adding new event. But on the quotes tab, if we click onto the accepted quote, we will actually get the option now to raise an invoice. Now you can only assign to one landlord at a time when you click a raise invoice. So you will need to do this twice if you need to assign it to both landlords. Now, if we just go back to the details tab, we have put here that the contractor is billing the landlord. But if we find out at this point that the tenant is actually in fault at this point, we can change the payer to the tenant. We can select our contractor here as well. Select the nominal. Any nominals that you need to add in will be covered in your financial training. So you would select your nominal. The invoice number, and that would be the invoice that the contractor has given to you. So the plumber's invoice number. The invoice date, the invoice net, VAT, and the total. You can uplift as well, and this is if you add, add any additional amount that will come back to the agent, you can uplift your invoice. Pressing the save button will take you through to the template grid to actually create that invoice. Once you've done that, the status then will be marked as invoiced on the quote, and you can now right click and save and close. On the invoice as well, if the contractor is set to receive commission, there is an extra tick box if you've got the financials turned on or if you've set the contractor to receive commission. That is covered in the basics three of your financials training.